Richard at uh, Orange Campus. I thought we'd just set up the hire van just to show you what you'd expect to get if you hired a Treve from us. So, one essential aid is the awning in case it's raining. This will take light drizzle, rain. As long as you dry it out next time you use it, it's fine. Um, so, but it keeps the rain off you and um, it keeps you nice and dry, even at evening time. Uh, so you get the camping chairs, a couple of camping chairs, a table. You get the Kadak barbecue, which is a great aid to cook outdoors. And that simply links up to your gas tank underneath. So you're using your gas straight from your van, making it nice and simple. It's all your pots and pans, your crockery, your cutlery, uh, your plates, your bowls. We even uh, make sure you've got a, a nice bottle of wine to uh, get you started on your trip. So inside the van, we've got the uh, compressor fridge, which is a big 90 litre fridge. You can get an amazing amount of food in there. It has got a little freezer compartment, which always stays frozen, so you can have ice cubes, uh, frozen foods and lollies and stuff. And um, that is fully independent. So once you've turned it on inside, that will stay on all, the, uh, all your trip. Just turn it on when you set off, turn it off when you get back. Forget about it the rest of the time. Um, you've got all your pot, uh, cutlery in this drawer, so we've got knives, forks, even a whisk if you fancy doing a bit of baking in the van. Uh, you've got your kettle. Up here we've got your um, uh, other utensils, so you've got your bowls, your plates, your cups, some glasses, some wine glasses, uh, your tea and coffee, uh, everything you need to make your journey nice and pleasant. Underneath the bed, as people know the Treve, we've got the toilet, which simply pulls out and of an evening, once a bed comes out to here, we sit at uh, the port loo in this space, and then you've got all this area to still get into your fridge when your bed's made, and use the loo as well. So that just sits away under there, keeps out of the way. Uh, you've got more utensils in this place, uh, some nice sharp knives, lots of cook, uh, things for cooking. Uh, this option's got the grill, so you can use the grill in this particular van. Some don't have the grill option, some have a microwave, and um, some just have a big food cupboard there. I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration on how easy the bed is to operate. It's very simple. You just simply move the cushions and things. Down here is a little lever. You pull that, keep it pulled, um, and then put your hand down the back, move the bed. If you let go of the lever, the bed will lock in that position. So what happens is, when you're happy with it, as straight as it is, let go of the lever, it comes into that position, in the middle of the van, uh, well in the next sort of open compartment then, there's a little bar, you simply pull it once and then with the other hand drop your, your seat down. Um, and that's how easy it is. So, uh, and it's a big old bed, it'll fit me, I'm 5'10", but it'll soon fit me. You can sit up in bed by simply adjusting the back up, or you can have it fully flat. And then uh, what we do is we put a topper on here and uh, a double sh a fitted sheet, a quilt and your pillars and it's just like being in a hotel room, really is nice. One uh, little thing what a customer did show me, uh, so I've used in my sales pattern ever since, is there's a quick release button here, for when you're getting a bit older, you can simply slide down. Uh, so we're showing you the double bed downstairs and you've even got the double bed upstairs, so you now be thinking, Where's the fifth bed? Where can I get more storage? And surely you can't sleep five in a small, short little base van like this. But you can with the aid of a cabin bunk bed. Um, so um, it comes in a, 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 all wrapped up in a nice long sling. You just take it out of the bag and you simply pop it over the headrest at the back of the seat. Like so. I'll make a of it now but uh, it is very simple to do very simply pop your front bar into these uh, legs and these legs are fully removable you just sand them up they're only wedged in um, and then you've got a nice hammock there you can adjust how tall the hammock is by just moving your seat so if you want it so they're in a real deep uh, if they're very young and you don't want them to fall out but once you're in there, it's so comfy, and um, you know, you, you know, my little lad's had his arm hanging out, his leg hanging out, but it never falls out, and it can take 70 kilos, and inside it's just short of six foot. 
So uh, it'll take quite a big, you know, big uh, challenge.